Hey what's up guys today I'm gonna show you how to make start menus for your scratch games and let's get started so this is my start menu sample for you so here you can see play button options button and quit button for now this is a sample project this buttons only just disappear make this menu disappear here you can see then I have the second example uh, this is a bad one this is how not to make your uh, start menus so this is a topic for later video then we have the third one uh, this is from my game bitmap 2020 you can check it out on scratch link in the description this is similar to that and this is just a bouncy thing then we have fourth one this is a sample if you don't want buttons this is like press F to play and then we have the fifth one this is from my game bitmap 2019 which won the google code tool in 2019 ones and this is here you can see this has a animation per button has an animation and also they are just floating and this is the information tab here you can see made by anonymous and follow me on twitter and things so let's get started first of all make a new project like this so here you can see now let's just set up delete the sprite delete the variable then make a new sprite this is an empty sprite delete the sound name this costume to one Go to backdrops, name backdrop to one and delete the sound. Here we have all set up. And now we'll start with art first. So we're gonna make a start menu. You might be knowing how a start menu looks like. So I am just making a background for now. So this is a black background. Here you can see this shows like this. So let's set X and Y to zero. And now we have a black screen and now you can just put your game's title like i am just for sample i am putting your kill m all i know you can't see it just set the color to yellow i think you can choose any color you want i am setting it to yellow with the head writing font and here we have the title and now the buttons like just make a box and here you can see this box doesn't look like that good so i'll make the, it that good and now just set outline to 5 and just set the color to yellow this fill color and just set the fill color to 0 brightness 0 the, so this is black and here we have a better button which matches with the theme if you want you can change it but I like this way so now you can write on your titles just duplicate this if you want and now i have my three buttons you can just group them the title and the box so here we have a menu set up you can just make it as you want but this is a sample it should be looking good like the buttons should be looking like the button to click so the player knows it has to he has to click on the button and this should look good you can go to google and check out menus of other games so now here we have this so let's uh, just duplicate these and just remove everything le leaving the background and the title on it so this name this background then duplicate it again we'll segregate or separate all these so now just delete the title and blank this and we have three buttons now duplicate them three times and delete the other two buttons like first we'll have play then controls and then quit so name this as the button says so yeah I have three buttons play button controls button and quit buttons all separated here you can see don't change the position here as this is the layout name this layout and here we have all set up the art and now we can start coding so when the green flag clicked just uh, broadcast green flag then when i receive green flag then broadcast start and then finally when i receive start then just hide and name the sprite start menu so this will be a start menu so now we will working we will be working with clones and not the sprite itself we'll make it exactly look like this uh, with just the same coding so now make a block called build 
and with a number input and start with a another number input naming start run without screen refresh should be checked so now this block you can just watch my video on making my algorithm for making scratch game smoother so you can understand what is this for now just make a variable called clone number for this sprite only make it hidden and set clone number to zero or start put this start thing here then repeat build number times create clone of myself and also above that change clone number by one so here we have that then build we need items like the background and title is one then the three buttons total four so then four and start from zero so now let's just when I start as a clone then just go to front layer and show and now if clone number is equal to one then switch to costume background so we don't have any scripts for the background for now let's just duplicate this and leave it like that only and then switch to costume play button clone number is equal to two then put here a forever loop and now if with the and input and also take this not out so that we can use it in the wait until not and just put here touching mouse pointer and mouse down and also put here wait until not mouse down so this is a click effect like if the mouse cursor is touching on the button and the mouse is down the mouse down means if the button is hold hold down and if it is not it will be zero so if the player holds the button should not be pressed but it should be pressed when the player leaves the button so this is a click wait until not mouse down we'll check that so now we can just put scripts under this so on, for now we don't have any game here so you can just put here broadcast start and instead of when i receive start and hide you can just put this in the when i receive green flag just hide and remove this broadcast start from here and now then we can just put here so this is a play button and then duplicate this and then controls button then we have the quit button also don't forget to change this three and four so now you can see we have these four buttons uh, this is looking the same but these this is working and here you can see when i click on it it just hides the clones aren't deleted they are hiding and if they are hiding and we make many clones then the game will be laggy so to delete them we can make a system like just uh, delete all clones for the sprite only then set uh, delete all clones to one then duplicate this delete all clones to zero and wait for point one second so this is a delay without delay it won't work and then put this in the start so when the game starts automatically the menu will be deleted and for this to work we can put here when i start as a clone forever if equal to operator if delete all clones is equal to one then delete this clone so it will, it will be easy and also don't forget to put here just uh, set delete all clones to zero so that though they don't just delete if this is left on one so now you can see when i click on play these are deleted and you can check that out if, it, if they are hiding or deleted by just this if i remove these all this will be just having this outline when the start menu is disappearing but when it is deleted yeah you can see this doesn't have an highlight here yeah, you can see so for now the buttons don't look like that good so we can just add a click effect like thing or when we hover the mouse over the button it should make an animation and plus a brightness effect like thing so i have a script ready you can just copy that for now so here we have that so this is a size one so this will just increase the size to 120 you can just put it uh, make a script if else and if else touching mouse pointer on and else and then just set size to this 120 
and here should be the value we want to set size to this just smooth in set up then just uh, duplicate this and just set size to 100 I am telling that this script is not mine I am just uh, I have just got it from YouTube you can also check it out and here we have the script we can just put it here first of all on the play button so let's see you can see this has a good effect on it and just duplicate it now duplicate it now and just remove everything else and just put it in the next other two buttons for now duplicate like this and like this now you can see these are just looking good now you can just add, adjust them so that their size doesn't overlap them above each other you can also put it on the title but I don't think that would be looking good and now also the brightness effect just uh, set brightness effect to say 20 and then duplicate this and set it to 0 if you like this effect you can put it in all here you can see this looks good so I am putting it in all of them just duplicate this and put it here like this so we have that here you can see this just look good so now this is a basic this buttons actually don't work so i gonna show you how uh, for the play we can just uh, put broadcast start so that your game starts and instead of putting when the green flag click do this and that you can just put your scripts under uh, when i receive start like like this and just put your when the green flag clicked hide or if you are following my scripts when I receive green flag then to hide then you should put this only in a single sprite and this in all and below the when I receive start you can put all your scripts so for now I am just going to show you how to make a controls menu here so now we'll make a menu you can just make a controls menu if you already know how it looks or you can just follow through so just duplicate the background and just name it controls menu and here you can design it as you want first of all I'm making a back button so we can go back so you have a back button now the title so here we have a controls menu you can just make it better I don't have any game so I have just put a randomly anything here so now this we have to segregate this to just two items just duplicate this and remove everything leaving the back button name this back button and yeah uh, in the code you can just duplicate you can just put your uh, instead of broadcasting start in the controls button you can just wait until not mouse down and then it will just open the menu so instead of making a new clone it will be the menu so just switch to costume controls menu and also go to x0 y0 and set size 200 so this will just do the same thing and then you can make a variable called controls menu open and for this spread only make it hidden and then you can just duplicate this wait until not and things put this here remove this put here equal to operator controls when you open is equal to zero and then just it will first of all put here set controls when you open to one and then this and then after this is false you can just switch back to your controls button costume and the rest will be same so to make this working we can just duplicate this set the clone number to 5 switch to costume back button and the same effect it will be there but put in a if else statement if else controls menu open is equal to 1 so then it will just show up there and put here just go to front layer and show and put here hide in the else and then when it is clicked you can just put your set controls menu open to zero so it will close the menu so here you can see 
when I can click on controls here you can see this is just at the back so to make it work like that first of all we can just make five clones and play oh sorry controls here you can see the quit button is on the front so to fix that you can just go to here and go to front layer put this here and here when I click controls here you can see this is like that and also you can put a clear, clear graphic effects so now you can see and we have the back button but this is inactive as this is the part of the layout so just go to costumes and remove this from the controls menu and then we have the fifth one and this is not showing up because for the sprite only variables are just for the clone itself so if it is sets the value this doesn't affect the other clone so we can just uh, delete this variable or make a second variable called controls menu open and for all sprites and delete the previous one or just replace and then delete just I'm replacing it like this and now just delete this and now you can see when I click on controls here we have the back button 2 and the menu when I click on back here we have back but here you can see when I click on just hover the mouse it goes up because it is not in the center so you can just decrease it very much let's try with 105 then here you can see this is now better you can just go back and also go to the start thing here and just set controls menu open to zero so that the back button doesn't appear immediately when the start menu is shown up so here we have our start menu the play button works starts your game but now we don't have anything there the quit button does the same work so to make it work you can just go down to the quit button thing and just put your stop all for now if you have end screen you can just do that or a fade screen here you can see this just stops and when we go to controls here you can see we have the controls menu with the back button so you can just make many types of uh, menus like this I will make a next tutorial the next part of this in which we can make add on many things to this and we can make different types of menus too so this is a new series so thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and you can just check out the project link and the every our community link me on scratch our community studio on scratch and everything and the links in the description so thank you